And here is the planet's ultimate game. The final of the 21st Football World Cup. France to rediscover glory's past. Croatia to inscribe a new name on the trophy. And truth be told, as has been the case throughout this most unpredictable of competitions, nobody really knows. Here is Perisic, star of Croatia's semi-final. Vida, who scored so importantly in the quarter-final. Rakitic, whose penalties have been short. And Lovren, amongst the competition's outstanding defenders. Rakitic. Aimed it at Mandzukic, forced away by uh, Varane. And there is Didier Deschamps, who can become the third man in history to win the World Cup, both as a player and a coach, and keep company, therefore, with Mario Zagallo and Franz Beckenbauer. His job in the 1998 final, not dissimilar from that, Perhaps played today by uh, Angolo Kante. He and uh, Christian Karimbert. It's a uh, foul by Modric on Umtiti. He and Christian Karimbert did a great job on Leonardo and Rivaldo in that famous game. Umtiti, France's semi final match winner. Matuidi. Umtiti, Giroud. Still no shot on target, having played well over 400 minutes at this World Cup. Leader across, and uh, Strinic, who was perhaps the one minor injury doubt concerning uh, Croatia coming up to this final, is uh, able to clear. Strinic, Manchukic. Rebic, Hernandez, what a four in the French squad to have started every game. Ran into uh, Modric. And has a free kick. Mbappe. Taken away from Pavar by an eager Perisic, who can run at Varane. Having bypassed him, found Umtiti reinforcing. And certainly very quickly developed into the old firm for France in central defence. Third group game, Kimpembe did get a run out, but uh, essentially those two have been Inseparable when it's mattered. Not by Mbappe. Brozovic. Lovren. Feeder. Rakitic. Rebic. And they're stuck tight, but Pasholko has a position from which he can cross. And it required urgent attention from Rafa Varane. Modric. Pasholko. France will be uh, all too aware of the danger posed by uh, Croatia's adventurous full-backs. It's been uh, a feature throughout the competition. And it is more or less self-evident, given the type of knockout phase Croatia have had, that the uh, stamina in their team is formidable. Kante, Umtiti. And a suggestion of tiredness after 
three periods of extra time. If anything has been uh, a source of incentive for Zlatko Dalic and his team, as if to defy physics, defy fatigue. And just prove that they really can run and run for their nation. Titi, given a little shelf by Mandzukic. Pogba from between the centre halves and that uh, much debated, relatively conservative position that uh, Deschamps formation requires him to take up. He's had to sacrifice some of his attacking instinct for the good of the team. And he's done so uncomplainingly. The only folk to have complained are French purists, or some would say fantasists, who would have preferred to see a, a more adventurous approach. But their complaints will be mute. A few Lloris is lifting the trophy at the end of the evening. We passed uh, Paul Pogba. Rakitic, oh, clever. And Strinic. Firmly dealt with at a very close quarters by Kylian Mbappe. Who's not just flair and forward force. But is required to do his dirty work for the team as well. It's a really important tackle. Modric with the corner. Lloris didn't get there, but uh, Giroud got plenty on his header. Conte drove it against Rakitic. Last touch off the Frenchman. Croatia's throw. Brozovic. Rakitic. Perisic attacking it away well by Pavar. Giroud for Pogba. Who uh, goes over the outstretched toe of Ante Rebic. <laughs> Terrific win by Giroud. Not by Rakitic, but uh, that exemplifies, in a sense, why... Uh, Deschamps, notwithstanding the unflattering statistics which attach themselves to Olivier Giroud, still wants him in the side. Lovren. Conte, I'm sure he wanted the ball there, and Brozovic took it from him. Veselko, Rakitic, Modric. Width again provided by Strinic. Perisic. Away without complication by Umtiti. And 
a reason for Croatian uplift over the course of the first 10 minutes. 10 relatively eventless minutes, but a period during the majority of which the ball has been in French territory. Brozovic. Lovren. Moltrich. Kosolko. Brozovic. Kosolko. Moltrich. Rakitic, Perisic, it just got away. He's had a terrific World Cup, Ivan Perisic. He stays with uh, Inter after many successful years in German football with Borussia Dortmund and uh, Wolfsburg. Going against Iceland at the end of the knockout stage and then that uh, crucial breakthrough goal. Equaliser against England here on Wednesday night. And then he hit the post. And Tweedy let it roll. Hernandez. Rebic got across. Varane, Pavar. What was your goal of the tournament? Was it his? Goodness me, what a hit that was against Argentina. And all that beautiful swing and spin and swerve. Lovren away, down by Mandzukic. Snatch back by Matuidi. Hernandez, Griezmann. Titi. On the reach of Giroud. Well, there they are, the two top men. The host and uh, his partner in staging this competition, the president of FIFA and the president of Russia. This is Putin and Infantino. V VIPs. And neither can be dissatisfied about how the month has gone. It's been a beautiful month. Been a quiet first quarter of an hour of the World Cup final, though, which is uh, in keeping with uh, recent such matches. And a couple of slow burners in a row. Two 1 nils. Goal scored in uh, extra time. Who can blame players for a degree of inhibition on an occasion such as this? France, as uh, a creative force, really haven't got started at all yet. Antoine Griezmann, I've told, has touched the ball twice. But it's the last page that matters, not the first. And here's Perisic, with Rebic charging through the middle. Likewise, Modric. And Antiti got back. Strinic. Vida. Lovren. Rich. 
referee has uh, brought it to a halt as a result of uh, an occurrence off the ball involving uh, Ivan Perisic. Hernandez showing him some uh, sympathy. Here's how it happened. Just in the corner of the screen, there was a collision, natural coming together of uh, full back and wide man. No harm meant. Very little done. Modric, Hernandez, Conte. The tweaky for Pogba. Mbappe rather over elaborating, escaping with something simpler. Conte, Matuidi, Conte, here goes Mbappe for the first time. Strinic had to be wary. Came out to a Giroud. He found no path past Rebic, but uh, won it back from Rakitic. Varane. Hernandez, Giroud, Griezmann, Mbappe. Mbappe beyond Strinic, out by Vida. Again, Mbappe. Croatia aware that they cannot afford for him to get up ahead of steam. Little tickle at the back of Griezmann and a free kick against Brozovic. And really the first moment of offensive promise, this, for France. There wasn't much, but there was enough. He's been having earned a free kick. He's going to take charge of it. Golo Kante, last man back. More or less everybody else involved for France. Even Pavar there strolling beyond the ball. Flicked in by Griezmann and flicked on! And France take the lead! with assistance from Mario Mandzukic. Indeed, Croatia's centre-forward got the touch that mattered. Defying his keeper. And having scored the goal that mattered in the semi-final, he scores a painful goal that may matter in the final. He can only shrug the 12th own goal of the 2018 World Cup has France jumping up and down. It is the first own goal ever to have been scored in a World Cup final. And it is debited to Mario Mandzukic, whose own goal brought his country to this set-piece event, and who now needs to swallow that indignity, and if he can, atone for it. Just as they were in the last 16, just as they were in the quarter-final, just as they were in the semi-final, Croatia are behind. Neither side has yet had its own shot on target. That was the only one.
It came from a set piece, and now as a result of a Conte's challenge on Modric, Croatia have one of those. As light rain begins to fall in Moscow. Sun behind the cloud. Croatia temporarily at least beneath the cloud. Modric their game changer over a dead ball. Played in by Modric and over by Domagoj Vida. whose importance in the opposing penalty area was never more evident than uh, in Sochi last weekend in the quarter-final when he rose to such good effect at the expense of the hosts. So Croatia have to come from behind and win the final as only Italy, also at the expense of France, in 2006 have done since 1974. Rotherham closed down by Giroud, who's found guilty of handball. Modric. Brozovic taken back well and uh, fed on towards Mbappe by Matuidi brought away by Rakitic and Rebic Pavar nibbled at his heels Modric takes charge. And Jukic now poised on the edge of the penalty area where he feels more comfortable. That is his natural terrain, his habitat. In by Modric. Good length on the punch from Lloris. Mbappe. Kept it from Modric. Pogba left it behind. And Lovren fed Mandzukic. And Mandzukic fed Rakitic. And if that had rippled the net, we would be talking about one of the great World Cup final goals. French uh, unhappy with some of the bumping and boring, though Pogba needs to be careful there. And his... Uh, Tight, Mr. Mandzukic. Griezmann. Hernandez. Cleared by Vasalko. Vida kept it from a Harry and Griezmann. Vasilko 
Titi's clearance. One by Giroud. And away from Matuidi by Brozovic. It's just a moment that upset Giroud. And, well, you do understand why. Nowhere near his hands. And he was in. Didier Deschamps, who has been here or hereabouts, of course, before if, uh, experiences an advantage, then he surely has it, though Slavko Dalic has considerable wind in his personal sail. Having uh, taken on the job of managing Croatia only last October and having won his nation round so very, very quickly, it is worth bearing in mind again that Croatia reached these World Cup finals by the skin of their collective teeth. Foul at the back of Perisic, and the first yellow card of the game is shown to Francis N'Golo Kante. Just left a little sly one on him. The Argentine official was keeping up. Rakitic together. Rakitic faded it in. Vasalko appeared round the back. Mandzukic can compete with Pogba. Came down for Vida. And then Perisic 1-1! Delivery from Modric, smart run from the fullback, good win from the centre forward, touch back for Perisic, and you know what's happening then. Ivan Perisic gave it the works, and Croatia are level. His third goal of the finals. An equaliser in the semi-final, an equaliser in the final itself. So France have to go and do it all again. Back. Pavar. Mbappe's offside. Goes to some extent for France of 2006 when they took a lead in Berlin against Italy. On that occasion, from the penalty spot through Zidane and conceded 
12, 13 minutes later to uh, Marco Materazzi. Mario Mandzukic notwithstanding that errant touch will be feeling a whole lot better about his life now. Modric, Brozovic, Rakitic, Mandzukic, Rakitic, bit of wind in the Croatian sail now, not least the personal sail of Ivan Perisic, who's found an extra yard. who has now scored six goals in his last 12 tournament games. He was amongst them at the last uh, European Championships as well. And indeed, at uh, World Cup 2014, he comes to life when the world is watching. Two World Cup finals have had to wait for extra time until their first goal. In 2018, we have two goals in the first half. Modric, Mandzukic. Rebic. It's a comfortable gather for Lloris. It's probably fair to say two goals without uh, either goalkeeper. Yet, having made a substantial save, Vita's miscue and France's bonus corner. The corner which Antoine Griezmann will take. And for which Mtiti dangerously lumbers forward in the company of Varane. And Pogba with Mbappe on the goalkeeper's toes. In by Griezmann and uh, repelled at the near post by Perisic. The French are screaming handball. The uh, referee may feel obliged to take on some advice here. VAR has been a feature from first to last. He might need a different angle than that one. Whew, if he sees that, he's got a call to make. It certainly strikes the hand of Perisic. It is now a matter of interpretation. Deliberate or otherwise. VAR check is being carried out. The first ever in a World Cup final. And the referee is choosing to look himself. And the world will be split here. Truly, this is a matter of opinion. Ball and hand collide, no question. Deliberate or not deliberate. The world is waiting for one Argentine interpretation. You'll know what you think. 
right now there is one man who matters. He certainly went at it with his foot. That was clearly the intention he would not have wanted to handle, but handle he did. What is the verdict? Oh, one more look. One more look. Put yourself in his boots. What a call to have to make. He's given a penalty. A penalty for France in the World Cup final as a result of VAR. Truly, this is a 21st century game, a game that has moved into a new age. Perisic, having scored for Croatia, is now their full guy. And Subasic, who has starred from the spot for Croatia, is now going to go eyeball to eyeball from 12 yards again. For presidents and prime ministers, these moments are as nervous as they are for those who have paid to be behind the goal. The debate goes on, but he's made his mind up. And Antoine Griezmann, so often so cool, as Moscow is embraced by a clap of thunder and a little shaft of lightning on a stormy, stormy day. Griezmann, who stepped up to the spot for the first big VAR call of the tournament against Australia in Kazan a lifetime ago, is going to step up again. And France have never lost when Antoine Griezmann has scored. Antoine Griezmann. France have their lead back. An historic goal. A goal of its age, of its generation. But a penalty is a penalty in any year. And Antoine Griezmann specialises. They lost their lead for 10 minutes, barely that. But as a result of Antoine Griezmann's outstretched left hand, Antoine of uh, Ivan Perisic's outstretched left hand, Antoine Griezmann was given this opportunity to stroke them back in front. The fifth World Cup final penalty. But the first like that. So Croatia have to do it again. First half of the World Cup final includes an own goal, a splendid equaliser and then a VAR penalty. Strinic. Another bolt of lightning. Perisic plays it in. And Rebic couldn't wrap his foot round it. He's been for Mbappe. Looking to surge around Strinic. Mbappe's pullback. Vida didn't get there, but Lovren did. Brozovic away. Rebic looking to turn around Hernandez. He got a foot in. And conceded a free kick. 
and a yellow card. Lozovic. Lovren. Rosalco. Strinic. Perisic. Strinic. Brozovic. Modric. Lovren for Solko, Rebic, out again by Hernandez. Last four minutes of the first half, though uh, one imagines there'll be quite a chunk of stoppage time. Modric. For Solko. Atreides challenge. France's throw. That's the reason for... Uh, Lucas Hernandez is yellow card. Didn't get close enough to the ball. Rakitic caught up by Pogba. Away by Pavar. Vida will reach it before Mbappe. Had three goals in a World Cup final since 1974 in the uh, first half. And if my historical memory serves me right, that involved uh, a big penalty call or two from the English referee Jack Taylor. Holland against West Germany, very early in the game. Modric with a Croatian free kick. The weather's closing in. Modric plays it in. And Perisic uh, won it. Away by Pavar, thumped back in by Lovren, who has to settle for a corner. Pavar only partially clear. We offer it against Pogba, who kept his hands well out of the way. Rakitic takes, and uh, it was flicked on at the near post by Rebic. And nods rather nervously behind for another corner. Rakitic once more. Cleared by Giroud. Last man back is Vasalko. Let's have a man down. Here's Rebic. Away from Pavar. Held up by Pogba. Who uh, touches it out. And Titi is the injured party. was all fallen upon rather nastily by Dejan Lovren. Not spitefully, but uh, nastily. That was not a good angle that his leg was at. Lovren bumped him over and then dropped on him. Like a ten-ton weight. Last 20 seconds of the half, and uh, at the moment, the intention is for three minutes additional time. Though so that's a number which, under these circumstances, could, of course, grow. There we are. Illustration of that intention. France will want Umtiti to be able to come back on and defend this corner. 
sure they'll get their way. So in stoppage time, France a man light. In by Rakitic and Vida didn't time his jump. Which is uh, a great relief for the French who can restore their quorum now. No team has had a half-time lead in the World Cup final since France in 1998. That's how tight it tends to be. On that occasion, Zinedine Zidane scored twice, once actually around about now in first half stoppage time, two headers. Varane. Tweedy. Pogba. Number two to one. Perisic plays it early. Down by Mandzukic. And uh, sorted out for Lloris by Hernandez. Solko. Run back by Hernandez, who's kept on running and has Mbappe ahead of him here. His pass for Mbappe is just too strong. Terrific purpose from the left full back. He's going to have to raise his troops again. He's <laughs> done it so often in this competition. One expects nothing less. The masters of victory from behind, Croatia. In the knockout stage of this World Cup. If they're to lift the World Cup, they're going to have to pull off the trip one more time. Vosalko <laughs> didn't drop for Perisic. Strinic. Foul on Mbappe. And that'll probably see us through to the break. Well, what a curious game of football in any context. A game indeed to this point which will launch a million debates. Most of them around Ivan Perisic, not about his splendidly hit equaliser, but about his handling offence, which via VAR led to Griezmann's penalty, by which France re-established the lead that they had originally taken via Mandzukic's 18th minute own goal. The World Cup final at half-time in Moscow stands at France 2, Croatia 1. Well, when the history of this World Cup is written, much of it will concern late goals, dramatic goals, brilliant goals, but there will certainly be a chapter or two for own goals and indeed goals from penalties. And in that regard, this final has rather summed up the whole competition. The 12th own goal of the competition, the 29th penalty, 22 of them stuck away. And France have a one goal advantage to carry into the second half of match 64. And Titi. And Tweedy taken off it by Overselko, moved on by Modric. Then Rakitic. A lot of space for Rebic. Vasilko's got ahead of him. Vasilko has delivered and Lloris fell on it. Pogba. Pavar. Pogba. 
Pavard. Giroud. Griezmann. The save made without complication by Subasic. The tournament meeting of uh, these two nations, the first oft referred to in recent days, the semi final of 1998, which France won 2 1, courtesy of uh, Lillian Turam. They last met at a major event in uh, Portugal, Euro 2004, and drew a group game 2 all. That game also included an own goal and a penalty. Igor Tudor helped uh, France take the lead. But uh, Milan Rapajic scored the equaliser from the spot. There's Rakitic and Revic! And Lloris was at full stretch. He has not been overemployed. But my goodness me, he sprung to life when called upon. And had applied a very important fingertip. Offered in by Modric. Wouldn't fall for Vida. And uh, Revic touched it behind. Caught it beautifully cleanly, uh, Ante Revic. And it was certainly bound for goal. Had uh, Loris not got elastic and got big. Certainly one of the candidates for the Golden Glove. It's not decided statistically by uh, clean sheets and the like, but uh, by a judgment on performance. And actually both goalkeepers on the show today would uh, consider themselves to have a shout. Subasic not least for all his uh, penalty heroics. Brozovic. Oh, that is a super ball and Lloris had to uh, read it in the very close company of Ivan Perisic. Vesalko. And Titi. Pogba. Taken back by Strinic. Varane's been caught in possession by Mandzukic. It's Mario Mandzukic who couldn't poke it through for Perisic. Nobody happier about that than Rafa Varane. Modric. A Tweedy caught on it by uh, Luka Modric, who's done enough to win Croatia another corner. And attacking the bulk of their most vociferous support in this second half. And at least to start with, lifted by them. And by Modric, out by Griezmann. Vasalko! Seen a couple of those of this World Cup. Pavar scored one of them. Nacho for Spain way back, but uh, it didn't work out for Vasalko. There was a Varane's touch which took it away from Perisic and took it just close enough to Loris, who was uh, admirably composed. Modric, good start to the half for Croatia. Mandzukic, Rebic, sturdy tackle from Umtiti. Brozovic, Titi away again. Rakitic. Strinic. Brozovic. Modric. Brozovic. Tweedy can't escape. 
So that's uh, our penned in here. Modric. Rebic. Once more. Kante can't carry it out. And here's Mandzukic. Pavar up to Giroud. That's a lovely touch from him. And now Pogba. And Pogba's played it early for Mbappe, who can really worry Vida here. This is Kylian Mbappe! And Subasic comes to thwart him. Give him half a yard and he's away. Modric. Rakitic. I'm afraid the referee's having to stop the game here because uh, of an intruder to whom we will attempt not to offer the oxygen of publicity. More than one intruder, actually. Three or four of them. Who, it's safe to say, have made idiots of themselves in front of the world. Kylian Mbappe was seeking to make a hero of himself in front of the world. He had Domagoj Vida worried. It's another really adept piece of goalkeeping from Daniel Subasic. First time he's really had the opportunity to turn on the afterburners and terrify a defender. Subasic stood up well. to have the first substitution of the final. It's uh, interesting, France are going to throw on Stephen and Zonzi, for whom, at the moment, it is not quite clear. But uh, that's a midfield enforcer they're going to throw into the piece. Pavar's clearance. Here's Rakitic. <laughs> Lloris was not sure under pressure from Mandzukic. It's a corner. He was uh, discomforted by the angle and flight of this cross. Mandzukic borderline offside. And indeed, after a consultation, the referee is giving a free kick for offside as France make the change. And... Uh, it is a like-for-like, like, whether the normally excellent Golo Conte has uh, a problem, only they, he will know. But uh, his place is going to go here to uh, Steven Antonzi, wearing 15 of uh, Sevilla in Spain, a man who played no part in the qualifying campaign at all who started just once at this competition, and that was in the almost meaningless game against Denmark, the only goalless game of the World Cup, which was in this stadium. And there's Nzonzi's first touch, and it's not a bad one. Griezmann. The Tweedy, no way around the Schalke. And only suppose that uh, N'Golo Kante did have a fitness issue because, to this point, he was one of two in the French team who had played every minute of the competition. In that regard, only Rafa Varane remains. It's a good win by Strinic. Perisic, Rakitic, Modric, Rosalco, Modric, Rebic, Matisse's challenge was clean and Griezmann shows a clean pair of heels to all but Vida. At his best is a beast of a defender. (laughs) 
Giroud's flick. Griezmann. Pogba. Shaken off it. Here's Modric. Gone early for Rebic. Sino okay by Mtiti. Pogba. Now space ahead of Pavard. And Mbappe ahead of Pavard. Giroud through the middle. Mbappe. Launched away from him by Brozovic. And Jukic. Rakitic. Far from behind by Giroud. Perisic beyond Rebic, and this time there is no competition for Hugo Lloris. It's only a couple of World Cups since the goalkeeper did just uh, did last lift the trophy, Ike Casillas in uh, South Africa. And he is just more than half an hour potentially from doing so, but. Uh, of no team could it more readily be said than Croatia that it's not over till it's over. Rebic. Perisic. Pavar in retreat. Perisic. Too heavy for Mandzukic. One is bound to observe that this is a, a very, very similar dynamic to the semi-final when uh, England reached half-time, patting themselves on the back for the way they've done against uh, the Croatians as uh, Mr Infantino <laughs> signs a ball which will no doubt sell for gazillions in weeks to come but Croatia came out in the second half and taught England a little bit of a lesson and they've certainly had the better of France up to now here though is Mbappe taking on Strinic Mbappe Griezmann Pogba Pogba Possibly now the world! An iconic French goal for Paul Pogba, who has come to the party and just might, just might have won it. Once more, Mbappe had the key to the door. Once he was on the ball, Croatia were uneasy. Griezmann juggled, Pogba right foot, Pogba left foot. 3-1 France. And even for Croatia, it is a fair way back from here. A big player who needed a big tournament for a huge and passionate football nation which is preparing to party. The day after Bastille Day, they probably haven't cleared up the Champs-Élysées from last night and they may be half an hour away from going again. Pogba. For whom that image will last forever, unless Croatia come up with something extraordinary now. Pogba. Matuidi. Mbappe! And Giro! And taken off Griezmann's toe by a retreating Brozovic. And France now have momentum and belief and freedom. 
And Griezmann was waiting for the spectacular. Well, never mind own goals and penalties. The World Cup final has been blessed by a special goal now. And France are hungry for more. And Griezmann takes. Brozovic away. Griezmann again. Prepared to let it roll. Pavard. Not by Strinic. And then by Vida. That goes Perisic and Nzonzi does what Nzonzi does. Vida. Rakitic. Rakitic for Perisic. And in by Perisic. Leave it out by Pogba. Who will do everything now to protect his picture in the headlines. Hernandez. Went to ground. No foul. Here's Modric. Trinic, Vida, Lovren, hung up by Vasalko, Pavar clear again, Modric, Lovren, Mandzukic. what it means to this French team, six of whom began the European Championship final two years ago in their own country and went flat on the night. Rebic. Challenge from young Pavar, who's come onto the scene since then. Lifted forward towards Giroud, out by Vida, pounced upon by Matuidi. France have an extra man here, Griezmann. Denied the chance to put Mbappe away. Nzonzi, Pogba. Hernandez. Twisting away from Mandzukic. Running at Vasilko. Here's Mbappe! Oh, my word! Teenage kicks! Ultimate teenage kick. The boy with the world at his feet. Kylian Mbappe. There ain't no stopping him now. The first teenage World Cup final goal since Pele himself. Terrific work from Hernandez. Mbappe had only one thought, and you knew he would execute. Think of the life ahead of this kid. Only the third teenager ever to start a World Cup final. The second teenager to score at one. He keeps company with Pele. And like the greatest of all time, he is surely now going to be a World Cup winner. And France, supposedly conservative France, 
sometimes dull within themselves, France, or so they say. France have scored four at the World Cup final. Which no one since Pelé's Brazil in 1970 have done. Well, I tell you what, if Croatia are to win the World Cup, we have some 25 minutes ahead of us. It would be unprecedented, safe to say. They've come from one behind more times than we can keep count of, but from three behind with 25 minutes left in a World Cup final. Even they, surely, even they are struggling to believe. Since 1982 and the very famous Marco Tardelli strike, there hadn't been a World Cup final goal from outside the penalty area. There have now been two in a trice. And there goes Nzonzi. Got a trip from Modric. For whom, sadly, because, my word, he's been special at this tournament, sadly, it looks as though it's going to end in tears. One can hardly berate him for it, but as it happens, he hasn't had charge of this game in the way he's had charge of others. In by Pogba, down by Giroud. Lloris was caught on it by Mandzukic and Croatia have a little sniff you can only apologise hold your hands up in front of the world Lloris with a moment of madness Mandzukic perhaps a moment of redemption he has scored at both ends in a World Cup final Lloris offered it to him and this crazy, crazy game twists once more. Indeed, as well as being the first man to score at both ends in a World Cup final, Mandzukic is only the second in any World Cup game after Ernie Brantz in 1978. Wherever you're watching in the world, I guess, if you were able to see it at the time, your mind might be casting itself back to the recent Champions League final in Europe, where a goalkeeper of Liverpool was embarrassed in a manner not dissimilar to Hugo Lloris then. Played in by Vashalko. Whatever next, whatever next. He might win the golden glove, he ain't going to win the golden boot. Because in possession of the ball on the ground, Hugo Lloris had a horrible moment. And so France perhaps aren't quite there. 4-2, Rakitic. And in by Rebic. It swung behind. 4 2. I'm bound to say, if you'll forgive me a moment, self indulgence, a scoreline that certainly resonates with the English. 1966 and all that. And here comes in the final, which has uh, produced the most goals since that. Croatia, unsurprisingly, are sending on another centre forward. Andrei Kramaric of Hoffenheim, whose only goal in the competition so far came at Russia's expense in Sochi in the quarter final.
Matuidi, Brozovic is down injured and the referee has chosen to stop the game. Actually bruised by his own man, Lovren. Pulisic is asked to give it back. Long from Maurice. Griezmann. Clash of heads from Titi Mandzukic. I think the referee has to stop it, which uh, doesn't work kindly for France. Titi looks to be OK. Mandzukic less keen to get up, and actually that picture illustrates why. I think it is fairly clear that Mandzukic would come off second best. A really remarkable football match with which to reach the climax of uh, this invariably exciting World Cup. And France have another change to make. It involves the withdrawal of uh, Blaise Matuidi and his replacement by uh, Corentin Tolisso of uh, Bayern Munich. began the opening game and uh, began also the quarter-final against Uruguay and will get the last quarter of an hour plus of the World Cup final. A young boy from Lyon who is on the cusp of fulfilling any young boy's dream. For now, Pogba first there. Mbappe. Pogba and Mbappe. Right now, the two players via whom France are likely to be world champions. Here's Tolisso. Giroud. Dispossessed by Brozovic. Caught on it by Pogba. Free kick. As many goals in the 2018 World Cup final as in the last four World Cup finals combined. And Croatia need more. Vosolko. Perisic. Away by Varane. And Jukic, who seems to be OK after that clash of heads with Mtiti. Modric. Kramaric. Stridic. Again, Umtiti at full stretch. Griezmann, Giroud, round into Croatian traffic. Strinic. For Solko. And a bounce lamely behind. A ground eat me up and swallow me moment. The goalkeeper's worst nightmare, I guess. An eventuality which is more likely to come to pass in these days of playing goalkeepers who are encouraged to dribble and to pass. Once in a while it's going to go wrong. Griezmann.
by Vida. Modric, clear of Tolisso. End up for Kramaric. Rakitic. Harried by Pogba. Out again by Hernandez. Lovren, Modric. Modric. Rakitic, Strinic, Rakitic, Pashalko, Modric, twisting away from Giroud, out by Varane, Rakitic has scraped it wide. You know, they're not done yet. They are not quite done yet, Croatia. Score again now, and there will be some faint French hearts. Suggestion that they should have had a corner out of that. for Strinic. Pavar kept his eye on the ball. Away by Varane. Not by Giroud. Let's have another change to make. We've seen the bill for Kier. Dozen minutes or so to play. Modric. Brozovic away again by Varane. Chance for Mbappe to go. And go he does. And Vida is in retreat. And Lovren is in retreat. Mbappe will drive at them. And then Sliver. And Croatia can go the other way. And Croatia are also going to make a change and throw on another centre forward. Piazza. More thunder, more lightning. Tense, tight, sweaty afternoon. Kramaric. Strinic. Rakitic. Challenge on him by Pogba. It's coming back via Modric. Luka Modric, Van Perisic. Prosolko, Modric. And by Lovren. Not by Umtiti. Ten minutes to play. One own goal, one penalty goal, one gift of a goal. And three really rather good goals. It's a World Cup final which is making its mark on the memory. to be a goalless World Cup for Olivier Giroud, valued perhaps more by his coach and its colleagues than by all of France's support. But whoever you are, it is undeniable that he has given every last half ounce of sweat for the cause. And uh, he gives way to Nabil Fekir. Uh, a change is made by Croatia 2 involving the withdrawal of their left back Ivan Strinic and the introduction of Marco Piazza 
in what can only be interpreted as a hell for leather change. In by Vasilko, now part of a back three. With Perisic playing at left wing back. And Piazza operating from the right. Rakitic. Kramaric. Piazza! His first touch wasn't tight enough. Strinich circumnavigating the pitch somewhat disconsolately. So with 10 minutes to try and make a difference. And it got away. Up by Vashalko, forward again by Pogba for France. Clear by Vida. Rakitic. Foul by Pogba. And they are more hurriedly on with it than the referee is prepared to permit. That's an irritation for Perisic, who was in behind. Rakitic infuriated. And you understand why every second counts for the Croats. In by Rakitic, and uh, pounced, pouched confidently by uh, Lloris. He puts it out so that uh, Paul Pogba can receive some treatment. A move clearly interpreted as cynical by the Croatian supporters behind the goal. He and Mandzukic had hold each of the other. a lot in that. Certainly no foul by Pogba. Certainly not a foul on Pogba. Everybody's OK. Part of the exercise from a French perspective was to eat up some seconds. For Solko. Lovren. Brozovic. Perisic. Rakitic. Varan got up big enough. Mbappe flicked it on. Lovren won it back. Rakitic. Vida. Still time for Croatia. Piazza. Oh, it's a lovely thought. Disappointingly for him, Vasolko was not on the same page. And for all the wonderful work he has done, it may be that their medals are silver, not gold. Zako Dalic has only lost two previous games as the coach of Croatia. It's only his 14th, an 83rd game in charge, national record. And he may have good reason to remember this one. Fekir. Scythe down by a rather desperate Rakitic.
Pogba is starting to think about the corner flag instead of the goal. Mind, here's Fekir. And he did require of Subasic a plunging stop. He has come off the bench in all seven games, Nabil Fekir. And uh, that's not the first time he's caught the eye. Rosalko, Rakitic, in by Perisic, and it goes Lloris again. Nobody will be gladder to hear the final whistle than France's goalkeeper. After the misfortune that befell him, and seemed momentarily to have offered a Croatian route back into it. But time is very much on France's side now. Modric. Vesalko. Lovren. If it's going to happen, it's going to happen right now. Vida, Kramaric. Vida. Kramaric. Rakitic. Why not? Well, there perhaps is why not. Because from that range, it doesn't often come out. Always fading away. Croatia's hopes are fading away. One piece of bonus news which is uh, about to hit them, though, is that the referee is planning five minutes of additional time. Fakir and Zonzi. Fakir. Got away from Perisic, but not from Brozovic. Rakitic, driven out towards Piazza. Seen OK by Hernandez. <clears throat> Lovren. Brozovic. Gave it to Pogba, who was fouled. Rosovic clouts it away in frustration. The most animated of races, Croatians. My goodness me, you know when they're about. There are a thrilling addition, a zealous addition to any international football occasion. So if they go quiet, you know there's a problem. Trying to keep it going. But for the little nation, this might just be too big. Zonzi. Griezmann. Shako's uh, challenge has Toliso ailing. What, melodramatically? Andrikic didn't retreat for the free kick. The referee's given the throw anyway. And for them, the party has started. It hasn't for him. He knows too much. Zagallo, Beckenbauer, Deschamps. It's not bad company to keep. A three to have won it on the pitch and in the dugout. If France can see out four more stoppage time minutes, and that helps. Mbappe, Pogba up alongside. Paul Pogba couldn't find a route round his man. 
France, in truth, had committed very few to it, understandably enough. Griezmann. Running away from Brozovic and having to hurdle Vasilko, who won't be at all surprised to see the referee arrive with yellow card in hand. Griezmann is in no hurry to get up. A challenge which, uh, if anything, does France a favour. Charge of the ball. His only instruction simply to enable France to keep the ball if he can. Although here is Pogba! And he missed his kick. <laughs> An almost surreal moment right at the end of the World Cup final when France, playing for time, found uh, their big central midfield player all alone in the penalty area and he hit fresh air. And so Rakitic can go the other way, and Zonzi tidies up. Not the first surreal moment, there have been a few today. Not with VAR and an own goal. And uh, the most improbable goalkeeping error. It's been a World Cup final for everyone with everything. And there are two minutes of it left. Those tears are beginning to seep. A suggestion of handball by Vida after Pogba missed his kick, but uh, nobody seems too concerned. They know it's done. Perisic knows it's done. Pogba's job was to keep him from the ball and keep him from the trophy. Last minute, what a campaign for him. What a campaign for Croatia. They have indeed at times decorated this World Cup. So stubborn, such a deep-rooted refusal to lose. Two or three of the very best players in the competition. But they're not going to win the competition. France is ready to rise as one. Perisic. Comfortable gather for Hugo Lloris, a catch that may win the match. Ready, ready boys, here comes your moment. Is France Allez les Bleus all rise to another class of gilded Gallic greats? The dignitaries meet, the Deschamps double is complete. In 1998, he lifted it. 20 years on, he will see it lifted for him. It will be some can-can on the Champs-Élysées tonight. From Boulogne to Biarritz, Calais to Cannes, Cherbourg to Chamonix. The trophy is returning to the land of Jules Rimet. The final score at the Luzhniki Stadium in Moscow. France 4, Croatia 2. In the driving Moscow rain, France are the champions of the world! Allez les Bleus! Congratulations!